Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review and first impressions on Morphe's 18H Sweet on Hue palette, artistry palette. Now there isn't a tutorial you guys, I just honestly had started doing my first look right here and I kind of wasn't feeling this look because I was like, okay, you know, they're a little bit more pastel than what I was expecting. Definitely I would have wanted to go in store and buy it, but when I called because i actually called the morphe store here in sacramento and they were like it's online available only online and i was like oh. so you know because it would have been better to actually go in person and want to buy it than actually seeing it i think i would have never bought it in the first place i just would have looked all that all these light colors right here i just would have looked at them and said you know what maybe i'm just gonna skip this one but when I got it in person, because I did have to order it and then wait for it to come. And then by the time it came, like about, I think, a day ago, I looked at these colors. And I was like, you know what? I'm not feeling this top. <laughs> this complete top row right here. I'm not feeling any of those colors. These two right here are mattes with micro glitters in it. And already this is like an Easter egg yellow. That's really pastel pink. These, This is even worse right here. This one is even worse than that one. That's definitely a very pastel blue. I think if you love pastels... This is going to be your palette, but for me, because pastels are like a hit and miss with me, some pastels I'm okay with, I can get away with some, but some of them really clash with my skin tone because I'm like an olive tan kind of skin tone, and some of them just look horrid. <laughs> so I just think it's honestly, it's one of those things where I'm not going to say I hate the palette because I didn't. I just think it's an okay palette, and I think it just really depends on on your comfort level with pastel colors, right? This one is just not it for me. The, the shimmers in here, I will say the shimmers in here are really good. I'm kind of bummed about icing right here because icing at first glance looks like a, I want to say like a light, light sage green. And then you put it on and it and kind of looks, it could be like maybe a little icy um, silver tone. Then you put it on and you find out like it's this champagne, maybe like a little gold reflect to it because I used it as my inner corner highlight. For my transition shade, I, first of all, this is my second look, right? The first one was more, even more worse than the other one. But I thought maybe it was just me because I mixed the different, I just picked the wrong colors that didn't mesh well, right? So I took it off. And then I created this look and I go, okay, now it's not me. It's the colors in here. They're not good on my skin tone. So my first one that I used was Sprinkles. And Sprinkles is a really nice, intense, buildable purple matte. It's really nice. It's just the colors that I picked to go with it weren't really doing it for me. Then I went back in. So I took that one off and then I added Cheat Day. Cheat Day is what I have on as my transition shade. And then I used Looking Yummy. Yeah, Looking Yummy, let me tell you guys. That is a shimmer, but it's a very powdery. I would want to say like a creamy matte because it does dry off. And it's like this powder, almost periwinkle blue. Very pretty, you guys. That is by far one of the best ones that I used that I used on my eye today. That one's a really, really pretty color. I don't regret that one. It's really nice. Um, I also used it down here. And then for this darkening shade, I used the darkest in here. That's called Boba Babe. And Boba Babe looks like a very dark uh, maroon brown. But one thing I did notice and I didn't really like, that's, that's what I'm saying. They didn't really mesh well together because I started to notice that some of the colors in here don't stand out on their own. And what I mean by that, that instead of like standing out and holding their own on your eye, they sort of like mix with the other colors and create like a whole new color, right? Sort of when you take red and blue and it makes purple and on makeup, I don't want that to happen. I want the red to stand out, the blue to stand out and not create that purple in this in the middle. I know that they do that, obviously, but there's some formulas that do it worse than others. Some of them are not that bad. But in this case, I kept noticing on my first eye look that I did, I put I put this one right here, eye seeing right here on the outer. And then I on the inner, I kept it at that yummy. And then the icing and the yummy was just like mixing and making this whole nother shade that didn't even exist in the ink palette. And I was like, oh no, I'm not liking this. <laughs> But this one is not bad. It's just definitely not what I was expecting. It's sort of like meshed into the the um, pinkish tone transition shade I have in here. And then it mixed in with this bluish. It just didn't look as dark as it does. Like right here, look, this might as well be an espresso brown. But on the eyelid, it's definitely not that dark. It's more of like a, like a grayish brown. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to start with the swatches. I'm going to begin right here in the corner, you guys. I'm going to go straight down on each roll until we get to the end, okay? 
So first one is called icing, and like I said, icing is like a very, it looks seriously between a silver and a very light green, but when you swatch it, it's more of a goldish champagne tone shimmer, very blinding. It's pretty color. Hello Jello. This one is a pastel yellow, and like I said, I'm not too keen on pastels and it is a matte with glitter so already it's on my do not list <laughs> and then you have like a snack this is a very pastel pink and it also it has micro glitters as well definitely these are like easter egg colors for some reason i just don't like those type of pastels I can do like glam light, you know, type of pastels. That one was doable for me. Um, Bebeya Life in Pastels, that one was so pretty for me. But then there's ones like this. And I'm like, hell to the no. I cannot do this. Sweet Talker, this is another pink. But it's just like a more lighter pink than that other one. And this one also has micro glitters in it, okay? So you just have, so far that I know of right now, we have three micro glitter mattes, okay? I think those are it. Yeah, just those three. Next, you have Double Scoop. And this is a mauve Tone Pastel Purple sort of matte. Lastly, in that row, we have Mint to Be, which is like a blue. I mean, I wouldn't call it like a mint. I don't know why they call it. It looks more like a powdered blue pastel matte. And it's very light, right? I don't know. I just can't do these type of tones. But I'm like I'm saying, if you love pastels, I think this is really going to be a nice palette for you. If you can find that way, because I know there's a ton of people who are really good at making those mattes pop, you know. They just put a really good primer. They cut their crease or whatever. I'm just not that <laughs> well-versed in all that stuff. So I can't really make it work for me like that. In the next row, we have Milk Tea. This is so pretty, you guys. This is like an orangey type of shimmer. Almost like it's got that gold reflect in it. It's very pretty. Eye Candy. This is a pink shimmer. It's like a Barbie pink shimmer. That's one swatch. Ginger Snap. I honestly love Ginger Snap. It's like this pink, but it's more like a, a mauve tone pink. And it's a shimmer as well. Sprinkles is a fuchsia tone matte purple. Rock candy. This one is just like a lighter tone purple matte. Baby Cakes, this one's so pretty. It, it's like a light pink, almost like a champagne shimmer. It is flaky, so it's like a wildfire shimmer. I'm not hating it, though. That looks so pretty. Look at that. That's like blinding. In the next row, we have Cheat Day, which is my transition shade I use today. It's very pretty coral tone type of matte. Cake Poppin', this is a very vibrant pink, almost like a hot pink, I wanna say, like a neon pink, perfect. That's a neon pink matte, cause I'm, it's like in your face pink, look at that. Looking yummy, and like I said, this is a very creamy tone shimmer. Honestly, it reminds me so much of like a very powdery matte, not so much of a shimmer, because of how delicate it was. But look at that, it's so pretty. I think out of all the shades in here, that is like the one that I enjoyed the most out of the look that I created today. I was like, you know what? I didn't like this palette. I didn't like the, <laughs> the pastels. But that one right there just made it work for me and then made me like this palette a little bit more. Even though technically in its entirety, I can't say that I honestly love it. <laughs> I'm Dessert is a purple matte. That's like one swatch right there, and then here's two, but it technically didn't even need that second one because it's so freaking, look at it. That's pigmented. Sweet Cheeks, I love this one already, and it's like this, oh my god, it's like this dark bronze shimmer. And it's got something like mauve in there that makes it more unique in the pan. Look at that, it's like a purple brown, huh? 
And then last you got that Boba Babe shade, the one that I told you guys. It's like a maroon brown. It almost looks like a dark purple now that I'm swatching it. And it does definitely have that brown element in the pan. But look at that. And these are all the shade tones in this palette, you guys. I'm thinking if you love pastels, like I said, if you love pastels, this is going to be your jam right here. And, you know, I don't know. I just didn't really like it because I'm not a huge pastel person. I was hoping that when I got it in person, it would be totally different because it looked a lot darker in the pictures. You already know a lot of times, we're going to say at least 80% of the time, that does happen. If you, it does look darker online, Instagram, whatever, and then you get it in person, you're like, okay, I can do this. That's why I was hoping they had it in person, right? I could just go down to the Morphe store, see it in person, and be like, okay, no, I'm going to skip this one. But they told me, they were like, oh, I'm sorry, it's only online. I was like, oh, God, i got to order it then. And then I order it and get it to here, and I was like... I'm not going to lie, I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> I didn't want to do this video. I was thinking like... Maybe I should just return it. But then I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the video, get it out the way. At least, you know, if I help someone figure out whether you want it or not, that's all I really care about because I know for me, it's probably going to go up on my Macari because I don't, I don't think I can see past the fact that it has that many pastels. It can't really, I don't feel comfortable with these lighter shades. I know that I can make the darker shades work for me. And the shimmers are definitely the very pretty. It's just, I don't want to keep a palette if I'm not going to use more than half of it. You know? Only like two or three shades that I really liked. Plus the shimmers. And it just makes no sense <laughs> to keep it. But, I will say that the packaging is what drew me in. And the packaging is super cute, right? It says 18H Sweet on Hue. And it has all these little clouds and like... I don't know how to describe that little bubbles and stuff. It's just super pretty. The back doesn't really have anything. It just says artistry palette and then, you know, distributed by Burbank and all made in China. The packaging is pretty much the same. The packaging is just sweet on hue and the back says 18H sweet on hue. Treat yourself to sweet pastels and neutrals in sugary shimmers and yummy mats for ultimate eye candy. And that's basically it. <laughs> So, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.